guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to do a quick little video talking about and using one of these absolutely gorgeous Sydney Grace Times Temptalia palettes they came out with three collab palettes they're available in light and dark and these are the three gorgeous palettes so I just want to start off by doing some swatches the first palette here is the quintessence and I just want to go ahead and read what it says. It says a celestial fantasy through a constellation of vivid tones and otherworldly finishes. It is inspired by all things space, the twinkling of stars and the dreams of nebula on an endless journey through the galaxies and beyond. And I can definitely see that description for this palette. It's absolutely gorgeous and I really, really like it. So the next palette is On the Horizons and this is what she looks like. Now for this palette it says, come back down to earth from a voyage through space with grounded grungy neutrals that are intertwined with murmurs of color designed to inspire and complement your favorite neutral palettes. Now I can definitely see that as a description for this. So, so gorgeous. I really love this palette. And lastly, we have Radiant Reflection. So pretty. It says, take a moment to reflect on the faceted nature of each of us as individuals and what lies beneath the surface to discover a rainbow of luxurious jewel tones just waiting to be explored. So I definitely can see the description for this one. It's a bit more colorful, a bit more bold, and I absolutely love it. So let's just jump right in. Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in and get started with this look. Um, it was so hard for me to decide which palette to use because I want to just play with all three of them and just pick and choose shades from all three of them. But I am going to use one palette today. I decided on the Radiant Reflection. You know, I wanted to go ahead and just use this one today. So this is what the Radiant Reflection looks like. And yeah, so... I think I'm gonna start out with this shade here in my crease. But before I get started, I wanna go ahead and prep my lids. So I'm gonna use some of my P. Louise base to prep my lids and then we can get started with this look. I don't usually do um, talk through videos because I'm not really like a chit chatty you know, chatty, chit, chit, chat type of person. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, I'm not mute. I do, you know, talk, of course. You guys know that. But as far as just, like, chit-chatting while I'm doing my makeup, I don't typically do that. I like to just kind of sit, listen to music, or, you know, watch other YouTube videos or true crime stories <laughs> while I'm doing my makeup so that's why you know most of my little makeup videos or tutorials are um you know voiceovers because it's just easier more relaxing for me I can just kind of do my makeup edit my video and then you know do a voiceover give you guys the basic information of what I'm doing so yeah i just decided to try and do a talk through this time and hopefully i don't bore you guys to death um yeah so i'm using this p louise base i love this stuff i know um a lot of people use like a thicker layer of p louise on their lids before they go in with shadows and stuff like that but i don't know i just like a nice thin even layer of the base to work with. It just works best for me like that. So that's what I'm doing with that. And I'm just gonna take this Morphe M139 brush. It's just like a basic, you know, blender to go in with that shade, which is called Unstoppable Love. And I'm just going to focus that in my crease. Now, I swatched out these palettes, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video. Oh my gosh, this watch so nice, so pretty, so gorgeous. Um, 
I mean, I already have some Sydney Gray singles, so you know, that wasn't surprising to me at all that they swatched out so super nice and pigmented and smooth. Sydney Grace has some really, really nice shadows and I really like working with her shadows, so I'm not surprised at all how they swatched. And <laughs> just from going in right now and placing this in my crease, I'm like, okay, I'm not surprised at how they're performing either because they're performing very, very nicely. It was so hard for me to figure out, okay, what am I going to do? Because, you know, all of these Temptalia palettes, which are gorgeous, by the way, kind of have like the same type of feel to me. They kind of have like the same flow and vibe when it comes to the color stories, you know, the beautiful blues the kind of like purpley burgundy type shades and then the greens in there as well and you know so they all kind of give me the same type of vibe so they're very complimentary you know what I'm saying so that's why I kind of wanted to just mix all three of them <laughs> together now when I purchased my palettes um and I have no idea where I'm going with this look you guys so we'll just figure it out together but when I purchased my palettes, um, I waited too late to purchase my palettes because, of course, I wanted all three of the deep palettes instead of the light ones. You know, you could buy each one individually or you can buy all three and get a discount. And so, you know, of course, I wanted to get all three because I never mind adding to my Sydney Grace collection, okay? It's like, you can never have too many Sydney Grace shadows. They're so nice. But I wanted to get all three palettes because I love the color story, of course. And then they're so complimentary. Now, I had never heard of Tentalia before, you know, this collab, if you will. Never heard of her never um checked out her blog or um any of her you know stuff that she did on youtube reviewing um but i understand she does like extremely in-depth detailed reviews of products which is really really cool um but yeah i wanted to get all three of the palettes in the dark um, you know, of course, because I like that dark color, dark pigment, but I waited too late and so they only had one still available in the dark, which I believe was the On the Horizon, the one with her dog on the um, cover. And as you can see, I'm just kind of going in and blending this out right quick, not really worrying about how neat or anything because, honey, these shadows blend out so nicely, but I just know that I want this in my crease and just kind of fading up into the upper portion of my lid but the only one that was still available in the deep when I ordered was the um on the horizon and I was like okay so after sitting there pondering and just kind of looking at the um <sighs> different palettes for quite a while I was like you know what the light ones and the dark ones really only have I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit with a clean brush they really only have just a couple of shades that are different and the shades that are different I definitely already have similar ones in my singles collection so if I really wanted to just switch them out and switch them around in the palettes I could easily do so so I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and grab these light ones because the shades that I really really like are basically the ones that are the same in all the palettes anyway so it's like uh <laughs> you know I want to grab them so that's what I did grabbed all three and here we are Okay, so that is basically what that shade is looking like. Just kind of blended out, you know, in my crease to give me that main color down. So now with this palette, it doesn't really have like a dark brown or black or anything like that to deepen it up. So what I want to do is I want to take this dark purple shade, even though it is a satin, I want to take that and use that to deepen my inner and outer corners because, 
you know, I like to kind of bend the rules when it comes to makeup application and I'm going to use a satin in my crease <laughs> to deepen things up a little bit, okay? So I'm just gonna take a little on my brush and place that down. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> I think I might have went in with a little bit too much because I really just wanted to use that to kind of, you know, like I said, deepen that area just a little bit. And honey, that shadow is giving one heck of a punch right now. And it is, it's a beautiful shimmer, you know, but I am going to use like a little bit of a denser brush to really get that in. <laughs> To my get that into my um, crease and blend it so I'm just going in with this more firm um, smaller brush I think this is an elf yeah this is an elf like one of their small crease brushes so we're just gonna blend 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 and as you can see I use quite a bit of my <laughs> <laughs> my eye space well my lid is only right here but I use quite a bit of my eye space because you know for me makeup is just like 90% art for me that's why I love the eyeshadow application portion so much because I just really want to get in here and just create and play with color and just have a good time you know it's like I don't want to follow the rules. I don't want to stress out. I don't want to worry. I just want to enjoy and have a good time. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so yeah, that deepened that up really nicely, really pretty. You know, if you wanted to deepen it up even more, you can go in with a black. But I'm going to work with this palette that I'm using, honey. I'm not going to mix and match just in case somebody wants to buy just this palette and see what it could do so i'm gonna go ahead and deepen up this side and then we'll come back and work on the lid okay so i really like how that's looking so far i want to go in with of course some of the gorgeous blue shades i think i want to take this one here and just kind of place that on my lid i mean they're really gorgeous but i'm not going to do a cut crease i'm just going to go in with this shade here and that shade is called our star night and i'm just going to actually i'm gonna use my finger today you guys okay <laughs> i know if you are a regular you know i don't use my fingers but today and i didn't put down any type of glitter glue or anything like that i really just want to go in and tap this on my lid because it's so pretty oh that's gorgeous <laughs> that is gorgeous so easy so breezy okay yes i'm feeling it feeling it feeling it feeling it okay very very pretty okay so let me do this eye I hope you guys are able to see how pretty this shadow is it is so gorgeous I feel like it's just a little bit more not chunky but it has a little bit more texture more um, excitement if you will <laughs> then you know uh, some of the other shimmers in the palette don't get me wrong they're gorgeous but this one it just has a little something extra to it maybe it's just because I like blue so much who knows but you know blue and purple for me uh, does it every time and I think I'm gonna go in and do like some green on my lower lash line you guys so we're gonna be pretty colorful today so that is what that's looking like very very pretty so what I'm gonna do is finish up the rest of my complexion right quick and then we'll come back and work on the lower lash line okay you guys so I am back complexion is done hair mainly combed <laughs> 
and I did add some lashes as you can see because you know ain't nobody got time for all of that if you're curious these are my aquamarine lashes from Sephora that I've just been in love with it's almost time for me to toss them but I'm trying to get as many uses out of these as I can okay so we need to go ahead and finish up the lower lash line I kind of want to focus on the gorgeous greens so I am going to go in with a green liner on my lower lash line before I smoke it out with some of the green um, eyeshadow so I'm just going in with one of my beauty creations uh, cream liners and this one is the shade shamrock I believe so let's go ahead and place this on my lower lash line I really like these pencils they are nice and creamy and pigmented you know I kind of go over mine a few times just to make sure it pops but and I also love green and purple together so you know me going in with this liner is really making me happy so but we'll see how it looks with the eyeshadow because the eyeshadow is like darker green but we're gonna go in and I also think you know what I think I'm gonna do do I want to do the shimmer on my lower lash line I really don't do shimmers on my lower lash line although they are very very pretty and in this palette we have jealousy's descent and sublime is it reverie y'all know I can't see so it's these two come on focus these two greens in here the shimmer and then the matte let me go in with the matte first and see how i feel and if i want to add a little bit of the shimmer i'll do that as well at one point in time i had all my brushes perfectly organized i went through separated them all out from you know the tiny detail brushes to the medium fluffy brushes large fluffy brush child I was all organized now I can't find nothing <laughs> okay so just give me a minute okay I found a smaller like pencil type brush from my ColourPop collection and I'm gonna go in with that dark green matte and I'm gonna go in carefully because I don't want to end up with a bunch of green shadow on my face that's pretty it's more of like a teal type green as opposed to you know like a super bright green but it's really pretty it gives you like that smoky type look so I am going to try to be a good youtuber and try to remember to put all my complexion products in the description box <laughs> that stuff takes a while I don't really do links for stuff because you know I'm not affiliated I'm not here to sell products I'm here to use them um, there's you know I have affiliate links for my besties brand because honey okay so how are we liking this green I like it I think it's pretty I like it a lot uh, maybe I'll put a little bit of the green shimmer on the inner portion yeah it's building up really really nicely like I said I'm not going in with a lot just because I don't want to have green all over my face but it is building up very, very nicely, very easily. So far, I am really loving this palette, if you can't already tell. I feel like this is such a simple, basic eye look, <laughs> you know? But it's really, really turning out nice. I'm loving these shades together. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of that shimmery green, Jealousy's Descent and just get a little bit on this tiny brush and I think I'm going to spray a little bit so I'm just using my setting spray you don't have to use a setting spray but I'm just going in with a little bit of mine and just laying that down and I find that some shimmers honestly 
um, work or show up better when you don't spray them, which is weird. But yeah, some of them, like this one, I really don't feel like I needed to spray it. Um, Cause sometimes the spray, it seems like it just makes it sheer out more instead of making it pop. So, you know, this shade is gorgeous, but I don't feel like I need it to spray really. But it helps to keep the fallout down, so. Okay, so now do we want to add a little bit of the gold, this gold shimmer into my inner corner? or not mm, I don't know I don't think I want to introduce that into this look there are a couple of other shimmers that I could use I don't know if they're this one will look really pretty which is phosphines it looks like phosphines and then this one is really pretty too which is Temptalia. I think I'm gonna use Temptalia, why not, right? Yeah, let's use Temptalia. So I'm taking a bit of that and just spraying, just to see how it applies when I spray it, using this small fluffy brush right here in the corner. Just to add, ooh, hi! <laughs> just to add that little pop, okay, yes. I like that. I like that. Okay. I think we made a good choice, you guys. We made a good choice. Just right in that corner. Just pop. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to add some mascara to my lower lash line. I'm still using my Thrive Cosmetics. Um, I love this mascara. I'm probably not going to be able to finish it because honestly, before switching to another one, because the last time I used Thrive Cosmetics uh, mascara, it lasted me so freaking long. I'm talking months and I don't even get it. Because back then, I wasn't even wearing false lashes. So I was using this stuff a lot. You know, upper lashes, lower lashes. But it lasted forever. So even though I'm trying to go through it, I feel like I'm going to end up putting it back and pulling something else before I can finish it. Because this stuff lasts, at least for me, it lasts forever. Maybe because my lashes are so... <laughs> so sparse you know but I do I go in with a few layers this is like the most nerve-wracking part of putting on makeup because honey when you go through all of this work and then you get mascara <laughs> on your face oh that's the worst that is the worst okay okay you guys so now that the eyes are done I'm just gonna go in taking off the some of this foundation off my lips and do my um lip for today I really don't feel like thinking too hard about it so I think I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop and Ellery you know cranberry shade lip liner and I'm gonna go in with my gloss balm cream I don't remember I think this is mauve wives has kind of like that um lilac-y type you know feel to it so yeah I think I'm gonna do that listen when Ellery created this lip liner she made it just for me honey <laughs> I love this lip liner I love this color I'll wear it every day with everything honey I love it so With these gloss bomb creams, you get so much on the applicator that it's like you definitely only need one dip. It's almost too much, you know? <laughs> okay, that is it. So yeah, this is the look for today, you guys. I mean, 
I hope you guys are um, getting used to me wearing just my natural hair for now. I'm just, I don't know. I'm going to do twists or something in a minute. But right now, I'm just kind of letting my scalp breathe, okay? But yeah, this is... Um, this is the look for today. I hope you guys like it. I like it a lot. For my setting spray, I used my Pretty Fresh ColourPop setting spray already. I really like this stuff. It works really nicely. And like I said, the rest of my face will be in the description box. The highlighter is your popping today, okay? But yeah, this is it. So <laughs> I think you guys probably already know this palette. I'm loving it. I love the Sydney Grace formula. This one in particular, it's just beautiful it's no different and as you can see if you like color you can definitely do you know use this one palette to create a look but i will definitely be combining them all in the future because i do want to mix and match so that's it for today you guys hopefully you had a good time watching me create this look hanging out with me let me know if you like a little bit more of the chitty chatty videos like i said i'm trying you guys i'm trying so let me know down in the comment section um and i will try and work on that okay so thanks so much for watching and i will see you on the next one doodles